As you come out of your uh, defensive half, uh, we're selecting in our system to have our width in midfield. There are a lot of reasons for this. Uh, one reason is we certainly want width in one of our lines to spread out the opponent so they can't concentrate and prevent us from penetrating. We also want our width in midfield because then that forces us to have less width in the back and less width up front in order for passing channels to be created between our defenders and our front runners. If you look at this attacking shape, you're going to see all kinds of passing channels. You'll see direct passing channels from the outside defenders to the outside front runners. You'll see passing channels from the center back to the uh, attacking midfielder. You can even see a kind of passing channel between the goalkeeper, if she's on one side of the goal, and the defensive midfielder. There's another channel between the defensive midfielder and the center forward. And all this is by design. There's no accident in your attacking shape. Once you get into the attacking half, the width changes. Your front runners now provide width, and the midfielder supports at an angle underneath. We've also believed in flooding zones up front. If the ball's coming up the left side, we want all three front runners on that side. A combination of reasons. One, uh, we create numerical superiority around the ball on that side if the other team's in a zone, or if the other team's in a man-to-man -man and they're following us, we've now cleared an entire side of defenders so that our weak side midfielder can now get in over the top. 